In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you Drafts 5 and Todoist working together. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I am really excited to be able to show you the new action scripts for Todoist in Drafts 5. Now just to give you a little bit of background, Drafts 5 is a, an application that is now free that you can download for all iOS devices. I'm very sorry to inform you that it's not actually available on Android, but it is available on all iOS devices. That's both iPad and your iPhone. And basically it's a very simple note-taking application with an incredible amount of power. Now essentially the way I use drafts is to collect my ideas directly into drafts and then I send it off to either Evernote or Todoist. Now in the past, up until this week, the, the scripts that you use to send to Todoist would mean that you hit the Todoist button, it will then open up Todoist, add the task and then you hit save. So there's quite a few button pushings going on there. But with the new version of Drafts 5, now it is direct to Todoist. So essentially Drafts is not even opening Todoist on the screen, what means, which means, this sounds really complicated, but what it basically means is I can grab an idea, I can grab a task, and I can send it off to Todoist essentially in about two clicks, which to me is brilliant because to me the whole point of a good productivity system is being able to capture your, your ideas as quickly as possible. But I think it's going to be much better if I just show you all this working. So let's get straight into drafts and I will show you how it all works. However, before I do that, I would just like to inform you all that I've got some amazing news. My Learning Center website has now been redesigned and I absolutely love it, if I may say so myself. And I have also put on a very, very special offer, a 72 hour fire sale, if you like, where I have all my bundled courses, you can now save up to $140. That's $140 off many of my bundled courses. So please go in and have a look. You can have a look. The link to the website is below in the notes section below. Okay. Let's get on to this video and I will show you Drafts 5 working with Todoist. Okay, so here we are with my iPhone and what I want to do first is show you a, a couple of ways of how, without Drafts, how you would normally collect an idea. So the first one obviously for those of you not using uh, iPhone 6 Plus and above, then you really have to open up Todoist like this and I actually have my home screen set as today's focus, but then you move to inbox and then you would just add the task. This is a task. Um, now it's not too bad. I mean, fairly quickly you can do that and on in it goes and you can continue adding tasks as you can see from here. So that's actually a pretty good way of doing it, but <clears throat> that's one way of doing it. Now the other way of doing it was for those of you with six plus iPhone 6 Plus and above, you can use a 3D touch like that and you can hit add task straight in and it gives you a lot more detail into <clears throat> capturing your task. And to be honest, that has been one of the main ways that I've been collecting tasks into Todoist. But what we do have now is this application down at the bottom left, bottom right, which is Drafts, Drafts 5. And if you open that, it opens up directly into a um, the screen, so you can start typing away. So this is a task created in drafts. And, oops, I can't spell drafts, so draft first, uh, like this. Now, 
one way you can do it as you can hit this and I can had hit that bang on off it goes and as you can see now it goes straight into to do this and just to show you that it has actually come um, if I just give that a sync and there you go that task has come in so let's move back to drafts and this is another task uh, created in drafts there we go and now the way I've got this set up in drafts is from the keyboard so all I have to do is you can see over on the uh, above the keyboard on the left hand side you see that tick if I hit that that's just going to go straight off to Todoist. So it's really, really, really fast. Now, one of the beauties and one of the updates in this new drafts version is this is task one. And if I return task, I'm going to save time by just typing task two, uh, task three. And what I'm doing is I'm hitting return and task four. So all I've done is hit return. Now, if I go up into my uh, we call it a share, I, I don't know what you want to call this, the action item, tasks in Todoist, hit that, and that's going to send all those tasks off into Todoist, as you can see. Now, when we go into Todoist, I'll just sync that, and you'll see that all those tasks have come in in their separate lines. Now, this has never, ever let me down. It's just such a fantastically quick way of getting tasks into to do is now this isn't a tutorial about drafts but for those of you who want to do this and want to use this what you would need to do is go to the action directory so the way to do that is you hit the um, hit the I've forgotten what you call that now you hit the gear item and you go to the actions directory actually I know you don't hit the gear item um, you go into the and you add plus down at the bottom visit directory that's going to take you into the actions directory in and if you hit the search and just type in to doist it's like that go and what it's going to do is give you these ones here now the ones with the check mark are the ones that have been created by agile tortoise which is the company that makes drafts and you will actually add that task so task in to do is with options i don't have that one so I'm going to install that. You just hit that, open, and it will install, and you can set that. I'm going to put that to my frequent, so it's come in there, and it's down here, task in Todoist with options. Now, I have no idea what this is going to do, so let's go. Uh, this is an options <coughs> task, and I'm going to hit my, go down to the bottom there, and what's it going to do? I have no idea what it's going to do. Oh, I see what it's going to do. It's going to actually give me all my options here now that is actually pretty cool that you can use and I can actually put that into wherever I want to put it into my projects I can add a comment I can add a due date so let's just add a comment um, this is a comment so for those of you who, who want to just <laughs> have a lot more options done and I can go down to the bottom create task that's going to do its thing gone into Todoist Let's go over and check. Whoops, I've gone over there to, to do this and check, see what's happened. That's come in, and as you can see down here, it's given me the note. So you've got a few options now open to you with ta uh, with drafts. I absolutely love drafts. I love the black uh, option or the black theme, the dark theme, I think they call it absolutely amazing application one of which now is free most of the only difference with the free version and the paid version is that you can create your own action scripts in the paid version which is actually what I use because I like the idea that I can create my own action scripts particularly with Evernote okay I hopefully you found this particularly useful uh, if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below don't forget my 20 my 72 hour fire sale on my new learning center if you really want to get yourself set up for the summer so that you can start preparing your productivity system your goal planning and everything else you can get them all for amazing discounts so go over there now the link is in the notes below definitely worth doing remember this option offer will run out on midnight on monday so you need to act very quickly it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week <laughs>